So now that you have your ability scores all filled in and ready to go, you might be thinking, what do I do with these numbers? Well, fear not. In today's extended episode of Nat 1, we take a look at one of the many ways those ability modifiers affect your gameplay. Skills. Greetings and salutations, everyone! I am Crow of Murder 15. So, skills utilize five of your six ability scores. Unfortunately, Constitution is left out in the rain for this one. Skills are used when your character performs an action that your DM decides if you succeed or fail at said action. This is known as the Difficulty Check, or DC for short. If your total roll matches or is higher than the DC, then congrats, you've succeeded! You've successfully jumped over that locked gate! But if your total roll is less than the DC, then sorry, the lock on that treasure chest just isn't coming undone. So, now we'll go over each of these 18 skills according to what ability score you'll need to add to the skill. First, let's start with strength, with only having one skill, being athletics. Athletics comes into play when you're trying to climb a steep cliff or trying to jump an unusually long distance. Eh, unfortunately that's about it for strength. Next, we move to dexterity, which consists of three skills. First, we have acrobatics. Think of acrobatics as trying to pull a stunt like a flip, or it could be something as simple as trying to keep your footing on slick terrain or trying to stay upright on a rocking ship deck. Next, we have sleight of hand, one of my personal favorites. This skill is needed when you're trying to plant an object on someone else or perhaps stealing their coin, all while making sure no one sees those lightning fast hands of yours. And finally, we have stealth, which is pretty self explanatory. Stealth is used when you don't want to be seen or heard at all. Maybe hiding in some bushes or pressed up against a wall so that evening street lantern doesn't catch your shadow. Now we'll look at intelligence, which has a whopping five skills. First is Arcana. These are used to tell of an item's or person's magical lore. Next is History. This skill allows you to recall people or places of legend, important battles, or possibly lost civilizations of days past. Now to get a little Sherlock Holmes on you, we have Investigation. Investigation is used when you're trying to look for clues to a hidden doorway, or maybe your companion was injured and you're trying to figure out what type of weapon made that wound. Following that is Nature. Nature checks are for plant life, weather, and the general outdoors. Perhaps you spot a flower and you're trying to discover whether its properties are poisonous or beneficial. And lastly, we have Religion. This skill will help you decipher what that holy relic on the altar means, perhaps what god or goddess it represents, or could even belong to a secret cult that secretly worships Cthulhu. Still with me? Good, because we have two more categories to go. In the Wisdom skills, we have Animal Handling. Need to calm down a domesticated animal or keep your mount from getting frightened? This is where Animal Handling comes into play. Moving back to the Detective motif, we have Insight. Insight is used when you're trying to pick up if somebody is lying to you. Normally, hints are given when you need to make this type of role by a character's body language or speech pattern starting to change. Next, we have Medicine. Medicine checks are used when you're trying to stabilize a dying companion or trying to diagnose an illness or an ailment. Following Medicine is Perception, probably one of the most used skills. Perception is used when you're trying to notice something in your general surroundings, such as eavesdropping on a conversation in the next room or looking ahead to see if you're going to be ambushed by someone. Lastly, under Wisdom, we have Survival. Think of survival as outdoor skills, such as recognizing tracks, being able to survive harsh weather conditions, and avoid other natural hazards. Now, the last ability score we'll be going over is Charisma, which has a total of four skills. First, we have Deception. This is when you're trying to lie or deceive someone. Maybe you're trying to convince a guard you're a high royal that demands to be into the higher quality district of town. Next is Intimidation. That guard not letting you through? Make a threat against him by telling him you'll do physical harm. Kinda like Batman. 
However, if you're wanting to solve problems more peacefully, perhaps persuasion is the better route. It's like deception, but rather than lying, you're being honest with your statements. And finally, there's performance. This is used when you're trying to entertain, whether it's by singing, acting, dancing, or heck, even all the above. Whew, wow. Okay, so I know that was a lot to take in, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. That does it for today's episode of Nat 1. Tune in next time as we take a look at some other ways your ability scores will affect your roles. Now go forth and show everyone your mad skills. See you next time!